Hey guys, today I'm here with the Smittybelt SRC Gen 2 rear tube doors fitting all 2007 to 2018 four-door JKs. This will be for the JKU owner looking to fully complete the set of Smittybelt SRC Gen 2 doors. Tube doors are a great option when it comes to extra visibility while you're driving and enjoying that open air driving experience while also gaining a little bit of extra security while you're out on the street or bouncing around on the trail. These specific tube doors will come with a vinyl panel to go over the tubular door, which will give you some protection on the outside here from any brush or low hanging obstacles on the trail. And on the inside, it's gonna have Molly and Pal attachments because we really can't get enough storage inside or outside outside of the Jeep. At the moment, these are roughly going to be $360. And when looking at the product page, tube doors can usually range anywhere from $200 all the way up to $400. So this will be a premium option. However, I would like to mention, if you are purchasing the front doors with this rear set, that you will be doubling the price for your four door. Nonetheless, I think these are definitely worth the price because of the fitment and the functionality, and they're going to give you a really aggressive off-road look. Install is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and it's nothing you can't accomplish with a couple of hand tools. So speaking of the install, we're going to jump into the rear install. However, if you would like to see the front install, you can check it out on the product page for the Smittybilt Gen 2 SRC front doors. So in order to install our Smittybilt tube doors, we have to remove our factory doors first. So in order to get our rear doors off, we do have to remove this panel. It should be pretty easy to remove. It should just pop off. Um, if you need to, you can use a trim removal tool. And then you'll be able to access the harness inside, which you can remove. And then you will also be able to access the limiting strap in here. And you can just slide that off and slide that out. So our last step before we can actually take off our door is to remove the two hinge pin bolts. Since we take our doors off so frequently, we don't have those bolted up. But if you do have those on there, then you will need a T55 Torx. So now we're ready to remove our door. Now we can do the same for the other side. So before we attach this to our Jeep, we do have to do a little bit of assembly of the hinges, but I did want to point out a couple of benefits that you're getting here. First off, you can tell that this is a skeletal style tube door, um, but that's going to give you a lot of visibility out of the side for when you're crawling around on the trail if you have that vinyl panel removed, and it's going to make these lightweight and easy to maneuver around. So even though these are going to be lightweight, they still will be pretty solid, being made of one and a half inch steel tubing with a black powder coat finish, and that powder coat finish is going to give you an off-road look, and it's going to resist any rust or corrosion or any surface damage that you may get on the trail, really giving these a long lifespan. I also do really like this billet handle that Smittybilt gives you. It has Smittybilt written down the side for some extra styling. It's easily accessible from inside and outside of the Jeep. And on the back side of this panel here, you can't really tell because this is blocked off. You do have a latch mechanism that does work really well with what I can tell you from the front doors. And I'm sure that it will work out really well with these doors as well. So now we can assemble our hinges. So you can take your hinge and place it on the inside here, put your bolt through, take your lock washer, washer and lock nut, and maneuver it around on the other side. So I am going to have a friend hold the back side of the door while I install these hinges. You can install these while the door is laying down, however you will have to fight with gravity with the lock washer, the washer and the nut on the other side. So it might be easier to stand the door up um, or prop it up or have a friend hold it up for you while you install the hinges. So you're going to put the hinge behind there, insert your lock washer, washer and nut onto the back. So you want to keep the hardware loosely installed so when we attach it to the Jeep we can adjust it for the correct fitment with the handle. So now we can install the bottom hinge.
So Spinny Belt will provide you with these limiting straps. Um, it depends on how far you want your door to swing out, but um, we can insert our limiting strap bracket through our limiting strap. These will also work with aftermarket straps if you plan on doing a little bit of customization to your tube doors. Then you can take the Allen head bolts and they will thread right into the bottom. After those are threaded in, you can take a 5 30 seconds Allen key Come on. and tighten those down. So now we can mount up our rear tube door and make all the adjustments we need to and tighten everything down. All you have to do, just like your factory door pins, is line everything up. And then you can hook it onto your latch. So while we're fitting up our door, our latch is not fully actuating, which means that it's not pushing in far enough. Now, Smittyville does have this rubber stopper here. Um, you can trim that down in order for your latch to completely actuate. Uh, we're not gonna cut it or trim it. We can just pull it right off. Um, and you can do the same if you need that much extra room. But after that, it should click right in. So now that we've adjusted our door and have it where we want it to sit, we can tighten down our hinge bolts with the 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. So with the door closed, you will be able to access the rear bolt or the rear nut with a 13 millimeter wrench. So with a little bit of pressure pushing up on the door when it's not latched in, We'll basically bring it back to the same um, position. And if we need to adjust it, we can. It's as easy as untightening a bolt and tightening it back in. So we won't be reusing the factory Torx bolts. Uh, Smitty Belt actually provides us a washer and a nylon lock nut. So we are going to attach that and tighten that down with a 17 millimeter deep socket. Just make sure you don't tighten it down too much because it won't allow the door to move. And if it is too stiff, like that's a little stiff, then we can just loosen it up a little bit. And it will swing freely again. In order to install this, you're going to make sure that this triangle portion is facing the back portion of your door. Then you can lay the flap over. Take your strap and pull it through the top. So I'd recommend to leave all of these loose and then go back and tighten everything down at the end just so you can adjust it to where you want it to sit. So our last step is to attach our limiting strap. So depending on how far you want your door to open, you can select a pocket and tuck your hook in there. Now we can repeat the process on the other side. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. If you have an 07 to 18 four-door JK and you're looking to complete the Smitty Built tube door package, you can find the Smitty Built Gen 2 SRC rear tube doors right here at extremeterrain.com.